Welcome to the Ultrasound uh, First Forum. It's honor and privilege for me to introduce you and introduce everybody here to New York. So I'm going to start my introduction presentation. So my name is Alfred Abu Hamad. I'm the current president of the American Institute of Ultrasound and Medicine. I'm an obstetrician in training, and I work at Eastern Virginia Medical School in Norfolk, Virginia. It's an honor and privilege for me to have been uh, the president of the AIUM for the past year and a half. So we are in New York, in New York City. I would like just to take um, a moment of silence for the victims of the storm uh, for the past uh, week and a half, two weeks. Thank you. So what is the AIUM? All right, so the AIUM is a multidisciplinary association dedicated to advancing the safe and effective use of ultrasound in medicine through professional and public education, research, and development of guidelines and accreditation. Forward. So the AIOM has more than 9,200 members, 36 medical specialties, not only physicians, but also research scientists, sonographers, students. More than 26 practice guidelines have been developed and more than 32 official public statements. The AIUM also has a journal of ultrasound and medicine with more than 10,000 readers. So why ultrasound first? Why are we here? Ultrasound first is an endeavor devoted to education and increasing awareness of the effectiveness of ultrasound in enhancing patient care. But also for appropriate clinical conditions, ultrasound offers clear safety and economic advantages over other clinical and imaging modalities. However, evidence suggests that ultrasound is underutilized. Many healthcare workers, insurance companies, providers, and patients are unaware of the range of conditions for which ultrasound first is an option. And the gap only grows larger as research extends ultrasound's diagnostic value. Now, ultrasound first is about not only identifying anatomic sites where data supports the use of ultrasound, but also physician education and training, guidelines, development, patient awareness, collaborative initiatives between healthcare workers, insurance providers, hospitals, and patients. And this is why we are here today. I would like to thank the speakers that have taken time out of their busy day to be here with us to really make this day happen. We can't thank you enough for really taking the time to put efforts into making this day successful. I would like to thank our corporate sponsors. Without their support, this event could not have happened. And I would like to thank the AIUM staff for their professionalism and dedication to make this event happen. And certainly from the staff, there many have worked diligently for this day. You could know how much effort has gone to make this day happen. But certainly I would like to single out Glynis, Jennifer, Kathy, Jenny, and Carmine. Glynis and Kathy has worked on building the relationship and the collaboration to make the program happen by reaching out to many of you to build this professional program and putting it together. Jennifer for building all the marketing links, the websites, all the relationship with marketing and industry. And Jenny for putting us in this beautiful venue and building all the relationship. And Carmine for the glue that build the organization and keep everybody working so well together. Now what is the goal of today? Why, what, what would we want to get from bringing everybody together? I think the most important is to raise awareness on the concept of ultrasound first as a momentum for the future. And more specifically build collaboration among stakeholders. Many of you are here in the room about ultrasound first today and the future of ultrasound first. 
and more specifically maybe to identify, maybe toward the end of the day, two or three key areas and develop collaborative ultrasound first guidelines about what are the imaging criteria, physician education and training, patient awareness and algorithms for use in clinical practice. But more on a broader spectrum, it's about broader scale developing a map for the future for continued collaboration between societies, between stakeholders, and between everybody that has a stake in ultrasound first, really to enhance patient care and increase awareness of the use and value of ultrasound in clinical practice. So I want to thank everybody for being here and hopefully towards the end of the day we would achieve some of our goals and develop a map for the future. Thank you very much.